Today, I have some fantastic news, guys. <laughs> Codemasters is about to become a support studio. One of the Codemasters, a support studio for Need for Speed. Remember, I spoke about Tom Henderson before. It looks like we may actually get updates finally in a Need for Speed game. I say finally, as if 2015 didn't have like the most banging updates ever. Much appreciated, DJ. But listen, the best thing about this is Codemasters Cheshire, in case you don't know, do you know what else they made? Do you, know, do, do you, do you understand what they made? That's right. Codemasters Cheshire made Drive Club. That's right. It's- I thought, so, I thought a different studio made it. Listen, Codemasters Cheshire is the developer of Drive Club, or was the developer of Drive Club. They're ex-developers of Drive Club. That means surely we're gonna get the best environments. If we're gonna have the best environments, the best weather effects, everything, I would be disappointed. This is incredible, incredible news. They also made Dirt 5, you may remember, and it didn't particularly do incredible. So this is a studio that was literally, the only game they've made for Codemasters, but well, they made two technically, was that weird, what was it? What was it called? It was supposed to be like a rebirth of like Motorstorm, and it was it was it was it should have been free to play. They also made Dirt Five, which again, great game, just didn't 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 really like you know. I. But the question, realistically, is: Am I a little bit of a hypocrite? Because to be honest, we complained when we lost Criterion to Battlefield. You remember it was delayed because of Battlefield. Realistically, it looks like Codemasters were working on another game. They were working on their biggest game yet. I don't know, if maybe maybe it's a Need for Speed. Maybe it was a Need for Speed. It does possibly mean that we will not get a Dirt 6, which is the sad news. Now, if this Cody Studio was working on their own Need for Speed game, well, it makes sense because this game is likely going to be used as a base or any work they do on this is going to carry across between the two. Essentially, what I'm telling you here is that you know, we could get an Need for Speed every year if there were two studios on it. That's the ultimate aim, right? Why have you not given us this yet? Why is Ghost not still a thing in conjunction with... I'm not even going to get into that. That's a thing for another day. <laughs> if it was something else, I do feel kind of bad for them considering that we felt bad when Need for Speed was delayed for the sake of Battlefield. And it turns out Battlefield was garbageo anyway. And considering their kind of record, is this a pause of now or is this a pause indefinitely? sort of thing. At the same time, if it's a new IP, I don't feel too bad particularly in that if it's just pause, because if it's just pause, they've got more time a little bit. Even if they don't get to work on their game at all during this time, there are a large amount of games coming out this year. A ridiculous amount of games coming out this year. And we're just talking racing alone. It might be nice to spread it out of this next couple of years, because it looks like we're going to be packed full of racing games from rumors of Midnight Club and all the other big AAA races coming out super soon, including Cody's own games. So if it's a short-term thing, I, I don't think I'm particularly worried. But Need for Speed, think of the possibilities, my friend. This is what I'm talking about. This is this is the problem we had with Heat. It had no updates. Of course, the issue was the fact that EA killed the studio. There's a support studio which could literally be put upon to make just updates. Maybe they'll be doing the environments while Criterion can focus on the updates. There's so many possibilities here. I'm very excited. So of course our boy Corey already covered it over on the website, but my friends, my friends, my friends, do you remember on one of, what was it? It was Need for Speed Payback. Do you remember we got an expansion, like an actual expansion? Do you remember that? It was the Speed Cross DLC. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> but think about it. Think about it, Matthew. I did think about it. They could maybe be working on the, an expansion for the game. Maybe we will actually get regular expansions. There's so many different paths they could take. Maybe they'll be all of the path. So for those of you that do not know, I actually already spoke about Tom Henderson. He's a pretty late. He's leaked a lot of stuff. He leaks a lot of EA stuff for us, including about the fact that we already saw this, that EA is expecting Need for Speed by Criterion in September, October. Now, I've already mentioned previously that I don't think this is the case. I think it's going to be ready by then. I think that's incredible news because it means, you know, it'll be gold and hopefully September, which means they can work on like post-launch stuff and fixing an open Battlefield. And I've also mentioned about the fact that it was, obviously it was paused because of uh, because of Battlefield 2042. This, this was a problem, but even ignoring the time that they had a pause, they weren't saying they didn't do anything during that time. It still had two years and five or six months to develop this Need for Speed, which is actually, as far as we know, the most amount of time that a Need for Speed has ever had. 
which is fantastic news. For example, what if the story team or the handling, the customization teams stayed on during that time? That would mean they've had three years to work straight on Need for Speed exclusively. This could have the biggest jump in car list or customization or everything, improvements in handling, nothing of the RSR. It could have a whole bunch of things that realistically are long overdue. That's, that's my best hope. All of those things that I mentioned are extremely important pillars for Need for Speed and they're nothing to do with Battlefield whatsoever, so it would kind of make sense that they were worked on when some people went to Battlefield, right? <laughs> Unless there was customization in Battlefield of cars and I didn't know that. There was a truck. We did try and make of it. It was horrendous. Am I being a hypocrite? Am I willing to sacrifice Dirt 6 or any of the future Cody's Cheshire game, which is not Dirt Rally or anything like that. We saw this happening as soon as they said they were going to announce that they announced they were buying Codemasters. They had the sole reason, the whole sole idea was to become the biggest racing studio. Realistically, looking at the performance of the last Codemaster Cheshire's games, the last two, it's not been fantastic. And EA obviously got to see all these numbers. They've just purchased the company. They're seeing what Grid is going to be like in terms of sales and grid is one of the big ones grid i don't know how it's going to do right next to gran turismo it's a little bit of a sketchy move to say the very least but if you go back to my original videos where i was talking about will we sacrifice some code masters for it i believe i probably said i would love to see the drive club developers working on the environments for need for speed i think that's one of the things that it really needs i thought payback's environments were really really good not payback i meant heat i was gonna um, say I meant, I meant heat, not payback. Saying that, actually, paybacks was decent. It was just really spread out. But look at these environments. Look at the weather. I really hope this talent is still here. We've spoke about before that if you find a better looking game, I would pay you a thousand. Maybe Need for Speed will be it. And I won't pay you a thousand because I because that's cheating. You can't talk about a game that's in the future. You know what I'm saying? Something. Ah, they're geniuses. Genuine geniuses. Can you imagine? Oh my God. Cockpit view, yeah? Yeah, 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 we'll take the cockpit view. Too much water. Mate, it's rain! You can't choose how much bloody water you want. Need for Speed should use the Unreal Engine 5, not Frostbite. You know what? I would love all... Because the EA has so many, so many, like, racing devs now, it would be so, so, so cool to see them make a proprietary engine for the racing games. I know the idea was Frostbite everything, but they could make a specific racing game engine that works on all their racing games. Now they've got such a selection because they own all the Codemasters IPs. Just just give us uh, give us our own engine. So there we are. What do we think? Are we upset? Are we excited? Have any of you here? Like, were you, would you sacrifice Dirt, Dirt 6 for this? Or are you upset rally, about it? I wouldn't sacrifice those. No, Dirt Rally's staying. Dirt Rally's a different studio. No Burnout. Oh my God, can you imagine if Burnout returns? Imagine they just like, they, they close another one or hire more and we get a Burnout as well. Burnout on the same, oh God, it already was on the same engine for Criterion and that went well, didn't it? You would sacrifice Dirt. Dominic Toretto has said he would sacrifice Dirt. Just again, in case you didn't see the video talking about this, just to summarize as to why I don't think it's gonna come out that time, even though they, they could. I think it's gonna come out November. In September, we have the beautiful, return of test drive unlimited with solar crown and then in october we'll probably have the next forza game november is the need for speed slot november is always the slot for our beautiful arcade racing savior i'm i'm ready this is the year for banger racing games you know what i it's 100 true we might get a new return to midnight club need for speed is on it with more support studios more updates more content this is looking this is looking pretty good